See BB's bedtime story. Oh, Rabbit, you're covered in snowflakes. You've made a mess by not wiping your paws before coming inside. Tonight's story is about a little rabbit who loves having fun in the snow. But when he gets lost, he needs help from a very special friend. The story is by Catherine Walters and Alison Edgson and is called The Magical Snowman. It was a clear, sparkling winter's day and Little Rabbit had been busy all morning heaping snow to make a snowman. That's lovely, Little Rabbit, said Daddy. Could you finish it later, though? I need you to find some berries for our tea. Snowman will be sad if I leave him now, Little Rabbit said. He'll be fine, said Daddy gently. He's just a snowman. He isn't real. He is real, said Little Rabbit. Of course he's real. He's my friend. Daddy smiled as he gave Little Rabbit a kiss. Don't go too far, he said. I won't, said Little Rabbit. Hmm, one for the basket and one for me, he sang as he skipped down the lane. Soon his paws were sticky with purple juice. Little Rabbit was having so much fun, he hardly noticed the snow begin to fall. A robin flitted ahead of him and he followed it, dancing through the drifting snowflakes and bare trees. Then the little robin flew away and little rabbit stopped and looked around. He wasn't sure which way he'd come. The swirling snow had made everything look strange. What will I do, he cried. How will I get home? As if in answer, a soft light sparkled through the trees. Smiling through the falling snow was his very own snowman. I knew you were real, said little rabbit. But snowman, I was all on my own. Not all alone, smiled snowman. I was there too, little friend. I was always there for you. Snowman dusted flakes from little rabbit's fur and lifted him onto his shoulders. I'll take you home, he said. Hold on tight. They whizzed down the hill. Whoosh! And landed in a snowy heap by a frozen stream. Here we go, Snowman laughed as he held Little Rabbit's paws. The world whisked by in a shimmer of silver frost. It felt as if they were flying. I'm coming home, Daddy, Little Rabbit called. Whee! Suddenly, Snowman skidded to a halt at the bottom of a hill. We'll have to walk now, he said, as he swung Little Rabbit into his soft arms. Are we nearly there yet? <gasps> yawned little rabbit. Not far now, said snowman. Meanwhile, daddy rabbit was hurrying through the whirling snow. He was very worried and he shivered in the icy wind. Little rabbit, he called. Little rabbit, where are you? Daddy, cried little rabbit when he heard his call. He leapt from snowman's arms and bounded up the garden. Daddy Rabbit swept him up and hugged him tight. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, he said. I was so worried about you all alone. I wasn't all alone, said Little Rabbit. Snowman took care of me. Oh, oh did he now, chuckled Daddy. Snowman stood quietly in the winter darkness and Little Rabbit smiled at him. And he saw Snowman was smiling too. That story made me smile. It was called The Magical Snowman. Did you smile at the happy ending? Now, I think I'd better get this little rabbit clean and dry. And while I do that, it's time for you to go to bed and have sweet dreams. And I'll see you soon for another story. Night-night.